Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, um, what's this video about again? Hey everyone, it's me with ADHD. Okay, so today I want to talk about your memory issues at home and a few ways to make sure that you can keep on track and never ever ever forget another thing again. Hopefully, it's not gonna happen. But these tips will help you out a lot. Also, before you forget, click that subscribe button and stay up to date with all my new content. Okay, so first things first, let's look at why we actually struggle with our memory. So ADHD primarily affects our working memory. Working memory is a part of the short-term memory where information is stored briefly and then made available for activities. A good example of this would be trying to remember the steps to a recipe that you like. Or a more famous one for ADHD is being told somebody's name and immediately forgetting it. That's why we know so many what's his names. This part of our brain only holds information for a very short time. And with ADHD, that's even shorter. So how do we even combat something like that? Well, I got your back guys. Here's a few ways. First up, an activities board. If like me, you struggle with keeping on track with chores and activities that you're supposed to be doing, an activity board is perfect. And the bigger, the better. This is my board. I have the biggest one I could find and I put it in the most visible place in my house that I can. It's the first thing I see when I walk through the door and it tells me exactly what I need to be doing each night of the week. I have from Monday to Friday each day with a different chore or task that I need to take care of that night. I even have a list right here for the weekend for like bigger tasks that I can just Take care of them, wipe them off, and then add another one during the week. There's also some pictures at the bottom here that my wife drew that I just couldn't wipe off. Okay, so next up, set alarms. A great way to handle tasks that either have a specific time frame or information that you need to remember is to set alarms on your phone. I normally set mine to 15 minutes before I need it because the likeliness is that I already forgot and I need to get back to either wherever that task is or I need to prep for that task. Just make sure that you write a detailed note inside the alarm clearly describing what exactly what you need to know or what you're doing. The last thing you want to do is have a whole bunch of alarms going off and you can't even remember why. It happens to me a lot. Number three, be prepared. Okay, so how many of you go out to return something only to arrive at the store and either the thing that you wanted to return or the receipt is sat on your table at home still? Preparation is key because with ADHD you're prone to impatience and being very impulsive and that's what makes us fly out the door without even checking if we have everything. Prepare all of the stuff you need the night before or when it's fresh in your mind. Group everything together too. Attach them together if you can. Load up a backpack with all the stuff that you need so you don't have to remember multiple things. And this next part is key. Put your least forgotten item with the stuff you're trying to remember. For me, that's my keys. I can't drive away without my keys, so when I go to pick them up, they're attached to the bag that I need. So lastly, remember to be persistent. The more you stick to these methods, the more likely you are to remember either the task or the method itself. The longer and more persistent you are, the more likely you are to turn those working memories into long-term memories. And that's it. Stay on the lookout for my second part of this video because I'm going to be talking about ways to improve your memory while you're at work. So are there any other ways that you guys use to help with your memory? Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date with all of my new content. And I'll see you in the next one.